Welcome to Elden Ring, the 2022 game of the year. I am JDZ Gaming Empire. Now I do have a small disclaimer on this. I had previously played this for a couple of hours and I don't know why I didn't continue, I guess because other games came out and I just put it to the side. <laughs> so we're just gonna explore this for a little bit. And I probably do need to pick it back up. All right, telling us about a bunch of information that we don't care about. <laughs> Let's do a new game. Because, like I said, I got this game um, for my um, Steam deck and only played it for a couple of hours and it plays great on the steam deck by the way so let's see i think i'd like to try some magic and i know uh, let's see if we can show some attributes here so we have the vanguard which looks like he or she specializes in strength is that a halberd? So they get a sword and a halberd, it looks like. And a shield and torch? Or, no, I don't know what that is. Does it tell us? Let's see. No, okay. Well, I tried. Don't know what that is. Okay, so we got the Vagabond. We have the Warrior. I'm thinking that for a mage type build, we probably need intelligence. Okay, we have the Hero, the Bandit, The Astrologer, which has 16 intelligence. Looks like they start out with some type of staff, maybe short sword. Uh, we have the Prophet, which is maybe a, maybe a healer. Their intelligence is very low. Their faith is high, so probably a, he a healer. We have the Samurai. We have a Prisoner. And they have a staff. And then we have the confessor. Hmm. Confessor almost looks like a cleric. So I'm not sure what the difference is between the confessor and the prophet. Okay, and then of course we have the wretch. Uh, yeah, level one. Stats 10 across the board which I guess will let you kind of decide how you want to build your own character. But that's not for me. I'm not that great at these games. These Souls-like games, though I do like to play them. I think I'm going to go... Even though the Astrologer is... Mage-based. I really would like to try this Prisoner. I want, I want to know what kind of staff that is, too. And they look like they have some type of sword, maybe? Let's go with this. I don't want to spend too much time on this. And I assume type A is man, type B is female, if I remember correctly. Um, young prisoner, keepsake. Uh, golden seed, I remember we probably want to take this. Um, uh, I think I'll just go with, she looks kind of muscular. Jeez. I think we'll just go with this template since we're just doing this as a let's explore. So this will not be, you know, my main character anyways. Oh, name. Jeez. I have no idea. No idea. Oh, that's a long sword she's carrying. Uh, name. Hmm. Normally I name my characters Sasha. 
Um, I do slash uh, black wood. I don't know. I think that just goes together well. Uh, okay, I, I can. All right, let's finish. We're starting out at level 9 with a vigor of 11. I guess that's health. Mind of 12. Endurance 11. Strength 11. Dexterity 14. Intelligence 14. Faith 6. And Arcane 9. Yes, this is okay. Fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home, across the fall. the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome dung eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. What an introduction. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fall to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord.
Okay, and we are in it now. So yeah, that's definitely a long sword, some type of staff. Uh, how do we bring up the mini? Oh, that's the map. I pressed the um, double pane on the double pane button on the Xbox controller. Map menu. With the map menu, you could check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. I know that in other Souls-like games, that's definitely not possible. You can't just travel wherever you choose. All right, let's close this and then, oh, look at all the people. Good gracious, what are they fighting? All right, let's try this other button. Oh, there we go. Let's check our equipment because I want to see what that staff is. Equipment menu. With the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. You can equip up to three armaments each to your left and right hands. The actions each armament forms will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Uh, armaments are your, I guess, weapons, stabs, that kind of thing. Okay, we have an S-Stock. Okay. How do we view what it does? I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. Back. Um. Switch. Hmm. How do we? Okay, the X. Switch display. Okay. Large piercing sword with a long, hard bladed edge, which is also capable of slashing attacks. For its large size, it can be wielded rather nimbly, leaving little opportunity for the enemy to counter. Skill impaling thrust. Skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. Ooh, that's good. Build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Okay. And then this Blint Stone Staff. So we actually have to go into it to look at it, okay? Staff with a glint stone embedded at the tip. A catalyst for casting sorceries. Sorceries must be memorized first at a site of lost grace, and a staff must be equipped must be equipped to cast them. No skill. This armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. Okay, and what kind of spell do we have here? Um, oops. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. You controls or no explanation. I want to go over here and see what this... Will it tell me what this spell is? No, it will not. Okay. Okie dokie. Then we have this rift shield. Small metal round shield depicting a sinister rift. An antiquated charm that glares back at an enemy. It boosts focus. Skill, parry. Well, you don't have to worry about me trying to parry because I'm terrible at it and I'm, I'm not going to be trying it. Well, I might try it, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> Use the skill in time with a foe's melee attack to deflect it and break that foe's stance. This provides an opening to perform a critical hit. Okay. So let's go back. So we have this S stock in our main hand, I assume. And our staff in our left. Prisoner Iron Mask. Iron Mask forced on a prisoner convicted of an appalling crime. Thick, heavy, and utterly stifling. Foul creature designed to torment the wearer. Either slowly fermenting hatred within their heart. Or a spiritual fervor that is near indistinguishable from within. 
Wow. Yeah, it does look like it could cause you to go um, not so happy on folks. <laughs> this looks like some just some rags we're wearing. Tattered clothing worn by a prisoner convicted of, okay, never once washed. Every fiber is filthy. And they treat us like crap. Wonder what we did. Tattered trousers. Never once washed. Every fiber is filthy. The smell is beyond belief. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's see. What else we have here? Inventory, we were... With the inventory... With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. X, show large image and explanation. Y, toggle character data. Y, toggle character data. Oh, okay, on the right there. Okay. Memory of grace. Lose all runes, return to last side of grace. Visited. The memory of great... The memory of first grace, which once guided bygone, tarnished to the lands beyond. Lose all runes and return to last sighted grace visited. It's merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring. Become the Elden Lord. Um, that, I guess, if you don't have a whole lot of runes, you could use this to leave maybe an area that you're not doing so well in. But I'm not trying to do that. No, no, no. Can we unequip this? Nope. Okay. Not from here. Uh, golden seed. All right. That's what we took as our starting item. Okay. Magic blimp blade. This is what I was trying to look at. What is... Let me see here. An old sorcery of the Carrion royal family creates a sigil overhead from which an enemy seeking glint blade appears after a brief delay. This sorcery can be used while in motion. Charging increases the delay. Said to be the prototype of the sword flanks sorceries wielded by royal enchanted knights. Hmm. Okay. Looks like, yep, that's it. Status. Status menu. With the status menu, you can check your level, attributes, base stats, and more. The information shown here also reflects changes to your attack, defense, and resistances bestowed by armaments and armor that you have equipped. Okay. Level 9, no runes. Runes needed. We need 811 to get to the next level. Okay. 434 health, 85 FP, our stamina is 97, equipment load 23.3 out of 49.8. We're at medium load, really? We have on a helmet and some rags. What's weighing so much? That sword and the staff? Poise. I don't know what that means. Poise. The degree to which you can resist collapsing under enemy attacks. So it's probably best to kind of increase that. Discovery, okay. Governs likelihood of finding items on the corpses of defeated foes. And memory slots. The number of slots available for memorizing sorceries and incantations. Okay, so we have two slots available, but only one sorcery. Okay. Uh, multiplayer, worry about that. Um, okay, gestures. Memory of grace. Can we remove that? Because I don't want to accidentally hit a button. Let's remove that. All right, but I think it's time to get going. Let's see here. Okay, pretty fast. Take this. Why are there blood stains here? Dodging and rolling and okay. 
Tarnished Wizen Finger. Tarnished Wizen Finger. Mm. Used to write messages to other worlds. Okay. Item for online play can be used for the messages menu. Used to write messages, your messages will be conveyed to other worlds, allowing other players to read them. A finger of corpse wax so emaciated the bone is visible. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. Okay, so we could use that to write, like, this message. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. I wonder if that's a developer message. So, I guess to use my staff, I must have to press the left bumper. All right, if I remember correctly, there's nothing really... Chapel of Anticipation. Nothing really to see out here. There's no loot or anything. Um, you know what? I might switch. Take this off. Remove that. I thought I said remove. No. Um, equip and remove. Select item to equip. Huh. What if I don't want this in my right hand? What if I want this in my right hand? Okay, maybe I have to do it from here. Okay, so this will be my right hand. Let's put this, okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. I got it now. Yeah, I think that's what I want. Staff in my left and S-Doc in my right. Okay, camera controls. Try not to fall off the edge of the steps. All right, now let me see. Yeah, uh, left bumper to use the um, sword. How do you run? A, help us jump. Okay, B, B will run. Okay, and I know this is going to be a... Ooh, look at that statue. I know this is going to be a boss fight that you're supposed to lose, though I have seen people win. Boss ahead, therefore good luck. Yep, we know. There's a boss ahead. Okay, and that's how I dodge. Okay. With the B. Come on, boss. Nice little screen. Okay. I have nothing left, so go, go ahead and kill me. I have no FP left. I like how that sorcery kind of made like a little dagger and followed it around. That was pretty cool.
horsey. Or not a horsey. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. What's the Golden Order? Okay, let's... What the? What? What? <laughs> I, what happened there? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I don't recall that happening before. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. I think that might be new. Well, I didn't have any runes to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, there's an item over there. Don't think we can get to it. HUD display. Okay. All right. Oh, what is that? Symbol. What do those symbols mean? Okay, I guess that's the parry. The left trigger. Man, it's dark in here. Okay. So, it had us facing that direction. But I know there's like a little tutorial that you can go to. Why is it always tarnished? Cave of Knowledge lies below. The Cave of Knowledge. Jump down the hole ahead and you will find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about game controls and basic actions, as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures in the lands between. Well, we're definitely going to do that. Let's talk to this person. Hello? Grave Tarnished. Take the plunge. Somebody died here? Was that me? <laughs> it's probably me. Okay. Can we take the plunge safe? Touch bloodstone. Or bloodstain. No, that wasn't me. That's... Oh, oh. I think they jumped too far. There's a ledge here that we can get to. And... Use an item as X. Switch item on the down d-pad okay so the red crimson must be our health and the blue is our fp we're gonna have to see if we can't switch that not here ahead okay that's not very helpful Sites of Grace. Resting at a Site of Grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flasks. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find Sites of Grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Well, we know we're used to this. This is like the bonfire. Touch it! Touch it! Rest. 
Okay, it's early day. We could pass time. Flasks. Add charge to flask. Yes, because we got that golden seed. Yes. Thank you. Uh, increase amount replenished by flask. Since it doesn't have the little symbol beside it, I'm pretty sure we can't do that yet. Use sacred tear to increase the amount of HP, FP replenished by your flask. We don't have any sacred tears. Okay. Let's allocate this. Allocating flask uses. With this menu, you can allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. You can decide how many of those uses are for the HP replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP replenishing flask of Cerulean Tears. Well, since I'm going to be trying to use mainly um, FP, the staff, we're going to switch this to this. Um, should we go one more? No, we'll leave it at 3-2. Yes. Okay. I think we're ready. Flasks. We just did that. Memorize spell. It's in here. With the Memorize Spells menu, you can memorize sorceries and incantations. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal equipped to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. Okay. Well, we already have two slots and I only have one spell. All right, and we don't want to remove it, so there's nothing else we can do here. Sort chest. Sorting the chest. With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage, or take stored items out of the chest. If you're already carrying the maximum number of items, when you pick up a new item, it will be stored in the chest automatically. Okay, that's good. There's nothing I want to store in the chest. All right, I guess we're leaving. Let's get on. Let's get this adventure cracking. Let's crack a lack in here. Oh, there's an enemy there. R, press in on the R, okay, to focus on an enemy. How many does it take to kill you? Oh, okay, one, but that's pretty slow. Pretty slow. RB, attack, right hand, and two-handed. Okay. We got that. Thank you. Can I attack with this? Nope. That's just uh, using it as a shield. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's slow, but powerful. Sorceries and Incantations. You can customize sorceries and incantations at Sites of Grace. You must have a staff equipped to cast. Okay, yes, yes, you've told us all this. Switch sorcery and incantation by using the up key on the D-pad. Uh, I only have the magic limp blade. Guarding. Use an arm amendment in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. If your stamina runs out, your stance will be broken. Okay. Oh, that is so cool how it just follows. So cool. So I guess to, for me to bust these Dodging. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or backstep. Both of these actions consume stamina. L plus B equals dodge roll, and B is just doing a backstep. I guess that's the only way I can bust open these crates is by dodging into them. Since I have my staff in my hand and I don't want to use any 
FP to um, break open boxes and containers. Jumping was this, I think. Yeah, A is jump. Hey, I see you up there. Can I get you from here? Go find out. Check this out. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, it missed. Oh, are you serious? All right, let's take, um, let's use this. Let's jump. Listen. There we got gotcha. you. Yeah, I don't know how it was missing before. Was whoa. He fell down. Mm, I don't know if I was. I don't know how I was missing. Acquire materials. Materials. In every corner of the lands between you, in every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Okay. Like that row of fruit. What is row of fruit? Very light red fruits that grow in shrubs. Material used for crafting items. Okay. Hello. Oh, you're a big dude. You got a shield. Oh. Okay, got him. I didn't need to waste the other... Uh, 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 that other um, hit wielding armaments each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments allowing you to toggle between them armaments can be can also be two handed making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50% okay switch to your right hand switch to your left hand Y plus LB or RB will allow you to two hand the weapon. Okay, so Y plus LB or RB, okay. Which I don't need to two hand my staff. Um, I better drink. Let's use an item here. How much do I have left? I have one flask left. Okay. I wonder. Hang on a minute. I know what I'm going to do. Go to our equipment. Remove that. Put this up here. That's what we're going to do. And remove that. Put it right here. So that way I can switch between my stock and my staff so I would like to yeah let's let's try this out let's do a little pokey pokey oh there's a couple of guys in here okay okay that will change targets oh come on come on Come on! Okay, I did a jump attack. Next. Okay. Uh, the first time I did the jump attack, I used the right trigger. That time, I used the right bumper. Probably nothing in here. I just want to break things. How is it people died right here? Oh, 
Really? Maybe they're very new to Dark Soul type games? Okay. Let's proceed. Let's not waste time. Alright, let's put this on you. Okay, we can't cast this fast, so that's good. And it did nothing to him. Really? Too far away? Skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes FP. So left trigger will use your skill. Okay, why is my... Okay. I'm like, why is my shield put away? I don't recall putting it away. So, the left trigger... Is it saying that that is the parry? Parry is not an automatic thing that you trigger when you try it? Treasure chest ahead. Yeah, I don't believe you. Crouching. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Attacking an enemy that has that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Left down on the left stick to crouch and stand up. Can we get a backstab? They're really not paying attention and we're pretty quiet. Somebody died here too. Oh, we can get a backstab. 201. Or 261. Let's crouch again. Near a back turn enemy critical hit. Yeah, but how close do you gotta be to do it? Hey, that was pretty, pretty good. Got another dude in here. Somebody's fighting him. How many other dudes are in here? Just you? Looks like just him. Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold, R hold right trigger charge attack. Right trigger while jumping, jump attack. Ooh, okay. So that's why that attack was so powerful when I did that jump attack with the right trigger. Okay, let's try this. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Praise the jump attack. <laughs> I agree. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there is a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. That's convenient. You don't have to travel all the way back through a dungeon or a cave to get to where you died. Very nice. Oh, this looks like a, this is a boss room. Let's put this back on. Should I drink? I'm, I think I'm going to wait to drink. We'll see what happens. Because we still have some FP left. Pathetic sword ahead, so to speak, likely victory. Yeah, don't say that. I've seen people die to this person. 
god ahead. All right, let's bust on through. Guard counters. You can perform counterattack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. Right trigger immediately after blocking an attack. Guard counter. Okay, I think I would need to have my S stock on. So I would guard and then do a right trigger. dead. Yep, that did hurt. Okay, well now we're back at where we jump down. We can retrieve this piece of loot. I hate going to the edge of of high up places. I, I always freak out that I'm gonna fall. Strength. Okay, we got an emote. Through the doors we go. Hang on, just a minute. Hmm. Okay, I thought my husband was sending me something important. He's just sending me some, some TikTok videos. Oh, geez. He is obsessed with TikTok. Okay. I do not have a TikTok account. It's going up. Side of grace, yes. Thank you. rest and I think I want to change my flasks oh there's a prisoner no that's not a prisoner that was what was that character um, I kept thinking it was a priest but I'm not sure allocate let's do this see see how that does It's a wall we can't get behind yet. I don't think I ever came across these yet. Use stone sword key. I don't have a stone sword key. Nope, I don't. Okay. No stone sword key in inventory. Okay, that can leave now. Thank you. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger to write a golden summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. Okay, severed. Finger severed. Okay. Tarnished furled finger. What's the difference? Tarnished. Okay, that's to create a summon sign. Sends another or one's self home. Okay, got it. Got it. Lever. Did we come back here? Oh yeah, we can come back here because there was that um, stone sword key that can be used. And so it begins. Good luck. Thank you. And 
and so it begins. Limgrave, look at that big dude above my head. Yeah, we're not gonna be messing with him anytime soon. Okay, I t guidance of grace. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. I don't think I need to rest at this site of grace. Because I touched it. Does that count? Yeah, that does count. Wow, we've barely scratched the surface. What is this up here? Where's that? Hmm. Let's talk to this person. The map. Use your map to check your current position, as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can upgrade your map with new information by finding map fragments at... At what? Stella's? Stella's? Along the road. You can also equip the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. All right, let's talk to you. Who are you? Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Really? Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow even if it leads you to your grave. Mm, okay. Look at that castle. Wow. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Okay. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. I believe we have exhausted the dialogue. It's time you set yep. off, I should think. Somebody died up here? From what? Whoa, whoa, what the, what happened to that person? What was attacking him? Summoning pools. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it, to, you'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summoning pools. So, okay, when we're near one of these, we can summon other players by using the, one of those fingers. Is that how I'm reading that? Small golden effigy. Oh, I don't want nothing to do with that dude right there, that's for sure. Small golden effigy. Sends a co-op sign to summoning pools. 
item for online play can also be used from the multiplayer menu. Send a cooperative summon sign to several summoning pools. Activate the pools only. In cooperative multiplayer, your objective will be to defeat the area boss of the world to which you were summoned. Okay, so we need this. So we need both of these? The small golden effigy? And that? I guess it doesn't matter because I'm not going to be doing it, but I would like to understand how it works. Alright, let's, um... Get out of here. Not that way, though. So the map is telling us we need to make our way over, like, this way. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, and there's nothing to loot on him. Okay. I'm looking around, just looking around. This game is pretty. jump. Can't jump like that. Okay. Oh, I see some some things up here. What is this? A ruin fragment. I don't remember what a ruin fragment is. Let me look at that real quick. It's used for crafting. Stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. Can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. Oh, really? These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Oh, I did not know we could use these to throw at the enemy to, you know, I assume get their attention. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, and there's another one. Down here. Yeah, you just stay over there. What's your big halberd or whatever that is you have? Okay, there's a side of grace in there because I see the glowy lights. Um, anything up here? Whoa, look at that! I never noticed that before either. Okay, well let's um let's go to this side of grace. Church of Ella. Fast travel to Sites of Grace. 
Through your map, you can instantly travel to any signs of grace that you've discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. Oh, look at all the golden... I don't know what you call those. The golden area around here. What is that? Just the skull. Alright, let's talk to Santa Claus. Hey, Santa Claus. You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see... That you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. Hmm. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself. ...who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Okay. What's your recommendation? You know, if you can spare the runes... ...you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really. If you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle... ...and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every custom accounts, after all. Okay. Crafting kit, he says. Shop menu. With the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items to purchase. So well, runes are like our souls. Throwing dagger, telescope, that would probably be valuable to have in the future. But he said a crafting pot. Leather bag containing a pestle and mortar, small blade, and various other tools. Enables item crafting from the main menu. Provides both means to fight and means to survive. Now that's going to take 300 of our runes. We're going to have to do some more fighting here to build that back up so we can level up. Yes, let's purchase it since he suggested it. Ooh, torch. Oh man, we probably need this too. Uh, we're going to wait though. We're going to wait. Wait to get that. All right. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. You've made an excellent choice. Item crafting. You, if you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials that you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. And he was actually selling some cookbooks. Containers. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the containers themselves will remain. Oh, okay, that's good. Let's see here. Item crafting. We probably can't craft anything. Item crafting menu. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. So we to craft a fire pot. We need some smoldering butterflies and some mushrooms. We have neither of wit, which we have neither. We need for this rope fire pot. In addition, we need some string, bone darts. Okay, we need thin beast bones, roa raisin. On horseback, feed the torrent to restore HP. Okay, well we don't have torrent yet. That's what we would craft to get Torrent's health back up. A rainbow stone shines with color light when placed, serving as a guide. Okay. Oh, we actually... Oh, we have three of these. Okay. Okay, it takes a ruin fragment to craft those. Got it. And then the fur calling finger remedy reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. 
So we have to craft this to see other people's summoning signs? Hmm. Okay. What else is in? Is that it? Okay. Yep. That was everything. Okay. Thank you, Sandy Claus. You have anything else to say? What is it? Still going to purchase something? Nope, I'm done. Thank you. Bye for now. What's this? Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may need you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Okay, so we're gonna have to find a blacksmith along the way. Smithing stone one. Yes. Level one, use smithing table, strength and armament. With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can strengthen your armament up to plus three at a smithing table. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. So we can take it up to plus three at the smithing table, and then we'll have to find a blacksmith to get it higher than that. This is the way I'm reading that. Okay, to get this up to plus one, we need two smithing stones. We only have one. Two for that. Okay. Okay, okay. We need to go get some more um, runes. All right. Next. see a dude right there did we rest yeah we did oh now what is that little symbol up underneath my stamina bar what is that hmm Oh, that came back around and got him. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, there's a dude up there. See another dude walking around over there. And a dude over there. Let's take care of this dude. Let's see if we can get a backstab. What the heck was that scream? Did you guys hear that? Somebody was screaming. I hear a noise too. There's that scream again. Wow, the sound effects are really loud. Curry. So those are like throwing blades. Um, let me go over here. Can I turn the sound down from here? Let's see. Let's go down the system. Oh, I can. Looks like it. Okay. Let's turn the sound effects down a little. Let's turn the voice up a little. Okay. See how this works out. Let's get this dude right here.
sounds a little loud, but not as bad. This dude over here, not paying attention. Root resin. We'll look at that in a minute. Root resin. What you looking at? Ooh, what'd you drop? A law Lord Sworn straight sword. Okay, I know that that's a cave in there, and we're gonna need to have a torch to go in there to see what the heck we're doing. So we're gonna wait. Looks like a mushroom. Okay. Let's pop down here and take a look at some of these things. Mushroom. Okay. Fungal growth thrives in damp thickets and elsewhere. His thick, spongy flesh makes it a key component in throwing pots. Okay. Root resin. Resin secreted from the roots of the grape tree can also be found near trees on the surface, material used in crafting. The roots of the grape tree were once linked to those of the ur tree, or so they say, and it's for this reason catacombs are built around grape tree roots. Okay, I'm going to probably not read any more of the materials that we collect. I just want to play more of the game. We could read about materials another time. There's another dude over there. Uh, yeah, we need like 300 more runes. All right, this dude. Take a look at his path. Oh, okay, you, s you found me. Okay. Well, come on. You want some or not? Godric soldier helm and some bolts. Nice. Is that a pig? Is that a pig up here? I hear some sparkly noise. Sorry, piggy. Lump of flesh. Doesn't sound appetizing all right i think there was another guy over here there's that screaming again Okay, the backstab didn't work that time. Oh, we got a smithing stone off of him. I hear that dingling of chimes. I hear that screaming again. Where is that coming from? Well, there's a mushroom down there. Oh, 
Oh, that thing right there. Drop scarabs. These are both crimson and cerulean teardrop scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flask that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. Okay, I think that was a red one. Yeah, it was. So we're already maxed out on our flasks. Other than now, I need to use some FP. Jump attack. Oh. Well, we already took care of him, so we're good. Let's look at the map here. Um, I'm right here. There is a map right here. I think there's... Um, a, um, something we could light over here. Um, I want to know what this is. Does it provide status here? No, that's not what I want. Um, it just talks about the menu. Hmm. I don't know what that icon is. And we're in evening now, too. All right, let's move on. Don't leave. Oh, that was cool. I love that it chases them down. Okay, thin beast bones. See some flapping, flapping going on here. Three of them. There's a side of grace. That was the word I was looking for. Term. Side of grace. Let's run on over there. some other um, armor. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. 
to the foot of the Erd tree. Okay, yes, we accept. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral steed whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay, can we talk to her some more? I guess not. I don't think we have enough to level up. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Level up menu. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute attribute increase and we don't have enough we're just shy just shy so maybe taking on one more person okay horseback riding use the spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed if your spectral steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost one flask of crimson tears to do so. You can dismount by using the whistle again, or by pressing down on the L toggle switch. Pouches. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. Okay, Y plus up down the right okay so let's put okay okay so that's how we open up the pouches let's put Switch. Let's put. Do we want to put our steed in that. Want to put it there? I guess it's easy to call him, him or her from pressing the up. All right, let's go ahead and put our trusty steed right there. Okay. So now, okay. So we just. Immediately press Y and then the up, and we can call our steed. Okay. All right. And we'll do it again, too. Okay. Or just press the L, the L button, which sometimes I have a habit of doing when I don't want to dismount. All right, we need to kill a couple more peoples here. And this one looks like one we could kill right here. Oh, we need to kill somebody else. One more person. There's somebody coming. They got a trumpet or something. Oh yeah. We don't want him blowing his his trumpet. Wait for him to pass by. Or turn around. Okay, he doesn't come very far. I think there's something in here. Long sworn great sword. You know what? Let me come around here. I want to look at some of the stuff we've received. 
Let's see, didn't we get a new helm? Let's see, we have this. Oh, this is actually worse. It weighs less, but stats are worse. Well, we won't be putting that on. And I don't think we... Nope, we don't have anything else. What about... We don't have the strength. What do we need to wield this? It weighs a lot. Our equipment load's gonna go up. We need a strength of 16 to, to use that, which I'm not gonna use anyways, because it's um it's a great sword. My strength is eleven, and I don't at this moment plan on upgrading strength. I would probably I would need to upgrade intelligence. So we won't be using that. And what about this? We can wield this, but how do we compare it? Compare details. Okay. Attack power is more. FP cost. Okay, I guess that's if you use your skill. This weighs 4.5. That weighs less. 115 plus 12. Hmm. This is thrusting. That's a standard straight sword. Critical 110. This is better. Somewhat better. This does a total of 127. This does 120. Guard damage is worse on this. Let's put that on. We need one more kill, I think. Just one more. We can level up. Like, one of you two will work. Okay, so it takes two shots to kill these guys. What happened to that other dude? Collect this loot. Golden rune. Oh, I got some gauntlets. Alright, this dude's coming back and I see that map. We need to get to that map. We need to get that map fragment. Love it. Love it. Okay. okay. There's that map. Where's the dude that's gonna blow his horn? Oh, he's he's coming. Is that him? Yeah, that is him. Can I get you? Can I get you? With the backstab? A 
let's collect this loot before this dude comes back around. He's pretty powerful. Don't want to deal with him quite yet. I want to go level up. All right, let's go do that. These guys will come back, of course. That's okay. And let's level up our intelligence. Let's see if we can't um, clear out this area. In there. Smithing stone. Okay, maybe we could take out this dude right above my head. Oh, that dude done turned around already. All right, let's wait to do that. I just remember that guy being a pain in the butt to kill. He was pretty tough. The one with the big humongous shield. Clear out some of these little enemies first, I guess. Stop that, you. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flask to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum allows. Oh man, I should have. I should have healed. Oh well. Uh, oh well. Nothing in here? Behold, house. It's a very small house. Oh, there's a bunch of enemies in here.
Where'd your dog go? You just said to heck with it? Guess so. Getting my jump and dodge mixed up. Uh oh. Down. They're suspicious. There was another dude that went to right. I don't see him. Hey, Wolfie, Wolfie. Oh, are you serious? There he is. He went over that way. Or maybe that's the dude that was sitting there. That's probably the dude that was sitting there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Again, I'm mixing up my jump with the uh, dodge. Alright, let's see if we can't just stabby stabby pokey pokey the wolf. Come on, buddy. Come over here. Away from your friends. Not coming? You just saw me kill the wolf. I heard the big dude. Okay, guess not. Something down here. skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. 
any skill it previously had will be removed. An armaments type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. So we could add skills to our sword. Adding affinities. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments as sites of grace. This way, you can alter an armaments attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armaments type determines which affinities it can have. Some special armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. Ashes of War Stomp and a whetstone. Can we look at this Ashes of War from here or no? Oh, we can. Storm Stomp. This Ash of War grants an armament the quality of affinity in the following skill. Storm Stomp. One of the skills that channel the Tempest of Storm Bell. Stomp hard on the ground to kick up a monetary, a momentary storm. Usable on all melee armaments, so usable on our sword. Okay. I know some of these chests you open and it will teleport you to another location. That was not good. I experienced that and it was a high level area. Man, you talk about freaking out. I was freaking out. And as you guys can tell, I play these games very slow. <laughs> I don't speed through. I take my time. Like I hear that dude over on my left. Did he turn around yet? That's the question. see me okay he just turned around so I know there's some more enemies we still have the tutor we got a couple guys over there uh, we need to collect this loot and beast bones okay, that's jump gotta remember what the jump is is there something in here no. jump is versus dodging B is dodge I think there's one other dude over here that we have not taken care of yet. There's the, the tutor. Yeah, right there. Okay. I think what I'll do is, as soon as he walks by, take this dude out. And then take the tutor out and those guys over there and save the big dude for last. Y'all see nothing? You see nothing? You saw nothing. Okay. Now let's go get in position to take out Tootin' Boy. I don't remember how far up he comes. Okay, well, let's wait to get him. Let's get these guys over here. So he comes up just a little past that map area.
not aware of your surroundings. Mister? Whoa, long Lord Sworn Shield. That looks really beefy. Oh, a flail. I'll we'll look at that in a minute. There's a dude over here I'm gonna get. Some bolts. I think I just have these two guys left. I think. Okay, here comes Tootin' Boy. Look, they don't even notice their friends are gone. Didn't get the backstab on him, but it's okay. Now the big dude. You know what? Uh, there is a side of grace over there. If I, I can I light it without re-triggering all these guys? Don't remember. Well, let's try to take this dude out. Get him! Whoa! Oh, got him at the last minute there. Oh, there's still some people alive somewhere. Where the heck are they alive at? Because we didn't get the, the all clear here. Who's still alive? Hmm. We should have got um, our flask refilled from killing everybody. Is somebody still alive somewhere that I missed? Ooh, and where are you at? We still need to look at that flail. There's a side of grace. Ah. Yeah, we definitely didn't get our flask refilled. I'm gonna just touch this. And we're gonna experiment here. Just light it. Now, who did we not kill that's over here? Let's look at... Let's get down. Look at that flail that we received. Oh, well, we can't use it. We need a dexterity of 18, okay? And it does... 
the damage does 152 total. It does more damage. All right, well, we won't be using that. Let me see, what is happening over here? Who did I miss? Because I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get our flats refilled from this area. see anybody I guess it doesn't matter because well it does matter because I want to know why it's not uh, refilling my flask who did I miss but I am going to go to a site of grace and rest what is we're up to 1578. I'm sure that's more than enough to level up. Just want to know, there's got to be some other baddie around here that I missed. Break everything. We must break everything. Don't know. I don't see anybody. Because I distinctly remember clearing this area before and you get your flask refilled. All right, well, I'm not going to waste any more time on it. This, a new map has been found, Limgrave West. Oh, yeah, we got the map fragment. Ooh. Okay, so we're right here. Wow. Oh, we need a... Who's, oh, that's the merchant. Kale. Or Kale. I, I forget how to say his name. Uh... Hey, that one... That one spot that was on here is gone. Remember there was a place lit up over here, and now there, it's gone. I think it was over here somewhere. Hmm. Well, let's head back to... Wait, there's a couple of people. What merchant is that? White... The first step, White Mass Vare. What merchant was there? Uh, let's go back here. I'm gonna get the torch. I wanna level up. This way, tarnished. Uh, May I have a word? Sure. What's up? Who are you? A pleasure to meet thee, tarnished. I am the witch Rena. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed, and upon looking into the matter. The talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yes, I can call the spectral steed. Ah, as I had hoped. I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. Lone wolf ashes. Tis a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the Erdtree. 
The spirits will obey thine command but briefly, as they recall battles past. Now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Summoning spirits. With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning, summoning typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiple multiplayer. Okay, that makes sense because you have assistance already. Forgive mine intrusion tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? Oh, she just disappeared. Okay, let's look at that stuff that she gave us. Uh, she gave us lone wolf ashes. Summon three lone wolf spirits. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Used to summon the spirits of three lone wolves. Spirits of wolves chased from their pack. They later encountered a nameless tarnished who welcomed them as hunting companions. The wolf spirits overwhelm enemies with their agility, aiding the summoner in, a, in combat. And I do remember using these wolves. They were pretty good. Uh, what else? She gave us a summoning bell. Oh, we have four of those now, so we could level up something if we wanted to. Spirit Calling Bell. Okay, that's the map we found. A bell of capable summoning various spirits from Ashen Remains. It usually requires FP to use. Spirits can only be summoned in the vicinity of a rebirth monument. When summoning is possible, the monument icon will be visible on the left side of the screen. Only one type of spirit may be summoned at once, and none may be summoned during multiplayer. So, if I remember, when I first played this, I saw this little, like, uh, archway symbol that was sort of the color of the spirit calling bell. And I didn't know what the heck it was. But I guess if you read um, information, then you find out all kinds of goodies. And we did get some new gauntlets. Let's see what that's going to do for our equipment load. They don't weigh that much. It boosts our equipment load only by a little. It increase, increases our poise. Yeah, put them on. I think that was the only thing we got. Yep. Nothing new there. Okay. We're going to level up. Ooh, talk to Melina. Let's level up first and then we'll talk to her. Ooh, we are so close to getting another level. No, we're not because we're going to buy a torch. Okay, let's talk with Melina. Ashes of War. This out. Ashes of War menu. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. Okay, we read all about that before. Okay. Okay, we could put that Storm Stomp on our straight sword if we wanted to. Uh, I won't do that at this time. Let's talk with Melina. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Also, I hear you can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. Let's talk to her again. Upon the cliff in Castle Stormvale is a shard bearer, a demigod, 
who inherited a fragment of the shattered Elden Ring. If the rays of grace signal the castle, then the Elden Ring beckons you. As an ally by pact, I pray that you are fit to face the challenge presented by the ring. Is that it? Upon the cliff, okay. a demigod. If the ring and the elder as an ally, I pray to face the challenge. Okay, thank you. And I saw that symbol back on the map again. See it on the compass? Is it on the map? Hmm. I honestly, I'm confused by that. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, we are going to end it right here. I'm half, got my shirt, you know, it's all ripped open because it's filthy and we have no other attire. Our, our chest is almost about to fall out doing all this fighting. <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually enjoying using uh, the sword and uh, my, my staff. I like that spell, even though it's a little slow, it's pretty powerful. But I'm going to end it right here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really I really do need to continue this game because it is great fun. It's difficult, but fun. Anyways, I will see you guys on the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.